go. Okay, so we're gonna do first Rondé Chasse for Cha Cha Cha. So it goes two, three, and Cha Cha Cha. Now hip twist Chasse. And back two, three, and Cha Cha Cha. Twist Chasse. Cha Cha Cha. Cha, cha, keep and break. Two, and three, and four, and for now, one. And then I repeat the whole thing again. Two, three, and cha, cha, cha. And two, three, and cha, cha, cha. Cha, 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 cha. Two, and three, and four, and one. Be how you actually finish it with some of this. Now, but the one thing I want to talk about is hip twist chasse because that's what we're working on in class. When you take a nice basic back, it just has a nice base. I step forwards projecting the left side. I'm going to go from my lat to my center into my hip. It's going to twist me. When I twist, my whole upper body stays with the mirror, but this whole half stays there and this is twisted. Going. My hips are going that way, my body's going this way. My legs are actually opening away from each other here, so you have a nice line. Then I finish the step. Cha, twist, cha, and side. So let me do it one more time. The hip twist goes hip twist, then once I step forwards, forwards, I'm actually going to go twist around this as well as an exercise there. Put my foot down and then send myself out. So then it goes two, three, and step forwards, cha, twist around, cha, cha. That's the one I really want class to learn. Good to go. Cool? Now, let me do the exercise we did where I did walks and blocks and all that stuff. Are you still recording me? YouTube, this is for you. Here we go, watch. So you have back rock. We did back rock, cha, cha, cha. Walk, one, walk, two, and cha, cha, cha. Step and turn, we did step and turn. We did three cha, cha. Cha, cha, one, and cha, cha, two, and cha, cha, three, and two, three, continue to spot. This was four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and two walks, two, three, Cha, cha, and then I pick all of this piece up. We did two, three, and cha, 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 and two, three, and cha, 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 two, and three, and four, and repeat. All the way back to the beginning, I go into my cha, 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 and walk, and whole thing. Go team. Okay, dancers, so I'm going to go over all the chasses that we're working on in class. Um, we have the Rondé Chasse, which uh, basically I'm going to start to count them in this video in rhythm because I think that uh, eventually that'll, that'll be the, the bigger benefit. This is end, slow, slow, end, quick, quick, slow. This is very important. Quick, quick, slow, end, quick, slow quick, slow. That alone is what we call a, a twist chasse. And all of the chasses that we're doing in this video are based off of that step. So if you start with the rondé chasse, then you finish with a twist chasse ending, and then the back is back rock hip twist chasse, and then you have the chasse side. And then this is the twist chasse again, and then you're into Cuban break. Quick, 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 slow. So Basically, when you start to learn cha-cha, the majority of people learn the side basic first, which is literally the side chasse that goes right to left or left to right. Um, literally, you're going side, quick, quick, slow, or cha-cha-cha, and then you typically have a back rock or a forwards check. And these chasses are more in place. Um, this would be the equivalent of working in your rumba, cucarachas, side steps, Cuban rocks, any of those movements, these these chasses are the equivalent. They're very important because it's all of your side actions in cha-cha-cha, your variations or whatnot. 
So, um, as well, the, like this one right here specifically is the hip twist chasse because it has a hip twist in it. And then here you're doing a hip turn and then you're twisting out, right? That sidestep is what I mean. You're gonna constantly use that sidestep whether you're doing these very fancy chasses or you're doing basic movement. It doesn't change. And like I said, using rhythm will be a big help. I think as well, the other part of, of understanding what a, a chasse is, is a forwards lock is considered a chasse because your feet are chasing each other. So they're either chasing each other forwards and backwards or side to side. And in cha-cha, you have the locks, you have three cha-chas, you have uh, the slip chasse, which we did not learn, but that's in a, in a natural top. And then um, I think those are all of them. We did three, uh, three cha-chas. Um, right to left chasse, left to right chasse, twist chasse, uh, ronde chasse, and hip twist chasse. So anyways, we will continue with all of this. This is very good information for, for what you're working on in not only cha-cha, but 